Hello and welcome back, I'm Sean. Earfun is consistently making better and better earbuds and today, I think again, they achieved the perfect earbuds. So let's check it out. So these earphones today were sent over to me by Earfun for review and this is not a sponsored post and my review will be based on my honest and unbiased opinion. So kicking things off with what I like about this earbuds is the design. Earfun has gone pretty upmarket with this model, very similar to the likes of Soundcore with the glowing interior here. So if I open here, you can see there's actually a glowing interior as well as a rubber bumper at the top here to protect the earbuds uh, inside. So another thing that I really love about these earbuds is the fantastic Qualcomm chipset that uh, comes with these earbuds and all the codecs that you can think of. So we'll talk a little bit about that later on. And on top of that, the earbuds is considered a perfect earbuds in a sense that it has everything you can think of an earbuds sh should have from ANC, great chipset, wireless charging, in-ear detection, multi-point, and even high-res audio. So I like that the earbuds also comes with IPX5 water resistant rating so you get good protection for gym or running under the rain. There's also a bunch of Cool technology that Earfun have included here, including QuietSmart 3.0 uh, with up to 50 decibels of ANC, Aura Cast, which you know if you use it to pick up broadcasted audio somewhere. Uh, and finally, the two most important things that this ANC earbuds have is great ANC and great sound quality. So this is also done extremely well with the Air Pro 4. So to be honest, there is very little to dislike about these earbuds and I'm just nitpicking here, but I wish the earbuds could have a smaller earphone branding at the top here. And because it's chrome, I would think the black model would probably look stealthier, which uh, the white one just looks really big. And I do have the silicone case uh, here, but you can see that it needs to be fitted with a 3M tape to actually stick onto the uh, case itself. So I would wish that the case would fit snuglier uh, so that it doesn't need uh, uh, tape. You can see if I flip this open, it doesn't come up together. So you really need to tape it on uh, to really use it with the case. And to be honest, it's pretty much my only criticism about this earbuds, which is fantastic news. And with that said, this earbuds is priced at around 349 Malaysian Ringgit or $78 American. And this is a pretty good mid-range ANC price point. So if you find value in what you hear so far and like to see more, uh, I hope you could support the channel by considering to like and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so the YouTube algorithm can pick it up. And if you want to buy these earbuds, do check out my links below. So now let's get back to the video. So let's talk about the sound quality you get with this earbuds. And not to mention that the new earphone app itself also gives you 29 different preset EQs to choose from, which is insane. You got a 10 band manual EQ to customize further, or if you want, you could tune it to have the earbuds figure out what is your custom sound profile for your ears. So in LDAC mode, and if you run the default EQ, this earbud produces a clean rumbling mids and sub bass. So the sub bass here is not insanely deep. Uh, in this setup, but when I switch the EQ to something like hip hop, the sub bass gets really deep. So in the default mode, it still manages to generate the sub bass as well, but they are not deep, but with some tweaking, they are pretty great. So mid vocals here is also really good with these earbuds and it does a great job rendering vocals without any hint of recess. Uh, it sits at a very neutral position, not backwards, not forwards, which is really good for overall vocals rendering. Finally, the highs on these earbuds is really good as well and in the default EQ mode, you hear it to not be as exciting but just simply choose a different EQ and you're golden. And in LDAC mode, these earbuds can generate those high frequencies with very good sparkles and timber but if you ask me, I wish it could be a tad bit brighter. So overall, a very high quality sounding earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Earfun Air Pro 4 is a good earbuds and making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So the earbuds is also designed very well and with very high quality materials as well. And the model that I got here is the white model, which I think looks really premium. And the materials on the case is also very high quality and beautiful. And yes, you do get that huge earphone branding at the top, which I wish could be a little bit smaller. Uh, there are also three LEDs indicators at the front of the case to tell you the battery life of the case. And at the back here, you're gonna get a type C charging port to charge the earbuds uh, and the case up really quickly. And you even get wireless charging on this case. All 
albeit a little bit slower. So the lid opens up really nice and smooth and comes with a hinge to hold it up. And inside you also see the light up interior case which looks really really nice. And as mentioned, you also get the rubber bumper at the top here to protect the earbuds. So the earbuds that you get here is your typical AirPods Pro style ear tips, very nicely designed with a silver accent at the stem uh, right in front here. And these earbuds also comes with in-ear detection, so you can just take it out of your ear and you will detect it and pause your music. So the earbuds also fits me really nicely. I guess I'm blessed with very standard ears that 90% of the earbuds fits me. Uh, but for someone with smaller ears, this wouldn't fit that well, even with the smallest ear tip. So do take note of that. You also get great volume from these earbuds and a comfortable volume starts at around 25% volume for me and moving upwards of just 60% volume feels really loud and you still have plenty of power to make these earbuds sounds really good. So the Earfun app has matured a lot in recent years and I really like the overall execution here and it's a perfect wonderful layout if you ask me. And the first thing is that the new app now reflects the color of your earbuds. So at the home page here when you first connect your earbuds it comes out as a black earbud but very quickly updates it to show the white model which is really nice. You also get the battery level and percentage of the battery for both the case and the earbuds. So you also get ANC controls at the bottom here and in the ANC tab, you further get five different ANC options including AI environment, adaptive and AI ear adaptive ANC and which is the first that I've ever seen. Below that is also a gaming mode where you can toggle it on or off but if you select LDAC, the gaming mode will be disabled. Uh, you also get selections for in-ear detection and also the earphone EQ controls. So inside the EQ controls, you get to choose between 29 different presets that you can scroll about here which is plentiful for you to play around with and if you want something more custom you've got a 10 band EQ to play with and Earfun also offers a custom sound profile that analyzes your ears and gives you your own personal and ideal sound EQ. So you get a feature to disable your controls or to remap them and here you get many settings to remap your earbuds including volume control. So below that you also get to toggle the dual device connection and if you want to select LDAC codec you need to first disable the dual device connection then head over to Bluetooth audio quality to choose between LDAC or Qualcomm AppDAX and here you can also choose between AppDAX adaptive only or AppDAX lossless. So this is the first time I see something so flexible to set up in the app itself. So below that you also get to toggle between LE audio support and Google Fast Pair for supported devices only and that's pretty much all the features you can play around with in the Earfun app. So Earfun have created many great ANC pieces in the past and they are not stopping there because the ANC on the Air Pro 4 is really impressive. So starting with the low humming noises, road noises and airplane cabin noises, this earbuds does a great job in cancelling them out with no issue. So without music playing, I would say it lowers the environmental noise around 80% and you need some soft music playing to get maximum effect. And with music playing, it cancels out almost everything. Cafe noises with people talking leaks through a little bit more so I would say it lowers down the volume to around 70% without music playing and with music playing it does cancel it out quite effectively uh, but with soft music you still hear a tad bit coming through. Transparency mode here is good and gives you a very natural pass through as though you're not wearing any earbuds and in high wind situations in standard mode you do get a tad bit of wind buffering noises uh, but you need to tune it to a wind reduction mode to make it more effective in cancelling it out. So with that said I'm giving this earbuds an ANC performance of 9.0 out of 10. So latency here is really good as well, especially with gaming mode turned on, you get a rated less than 55 milliseconds of latency, which is fantastic when gaming in real time uh, for games like PUBG uh, and watching movies and videos is also great with these earbuds. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So I'm giving all great points with these earbuds and I'm amazed at how much innovation have been put into these earbuds to have every feature imaginable. Uh, so what do you think about these earbuds? Is it a great earbuds that meets all your expectations? Let me know in the comments below. So there's also another perfect earbuds that I've recently looked at and that's also a contender for the perfect earbuds of 2024 and that's the Cambridge Audio Melomania M100 which I think you need to check out. So I'll see you over there in that video.